Dear students, now we are going to analyze the Shen Shen feedback amplifier in detail. In Shen Shen feedback amplifier, the first term represents the way of mixing the feedback signal with the input signal. In Shen mixing, the feedback signal is a current signal which is connected in parallel with the input signal. For shunt mixing, the input signal is a current signal. Feedback signal is also a current signal. The second term represents the way of sampling the output signal. Shunt sampling represents the voltage sampling. That means the output is a voltage signal. Okay. In this configuration, the output voltage is taken as feedback signal and connected in parallel with the input circuit. Okay. So for this feedback amplifier, the input is a current signal, output is a voltage signal, feedback signal is a current signal. Okay. It is also known as voltage shunt feedback. Do you all understand this concept? So here shunt shunt feedback is also called as voltage shunt feedback amplifier okay this is the diagram of this shunt shunt feedback amplifier or voltage shunt feedback amplifier here the input signal is a current signal so we can use current source is the output signal is a voltage signal okay the amplifier with the gain A is equal to output by input. Here output is voltage VO, input is current II. So this II is nothing but the actual input current given to this amplifier after this feedback. Okay. So here gain is equal to what? VO by II. Here we are going to use the feedback network with a gain beta. We can take the sample of this output voltage using shunt sampling method and we can get the feedback signal as a current signal. It can be connected in parallel with this input circuit. Okay. So here output voltage is directly proportional to the input current. Here the proportionality constant is represented as RM because the gain of the amplifier is equal to output by input the ratio of voltage to current is called as transfer resistance that is rm which is also equal to the gain of the amplifier this configuration acts as trans resistance amplifier so you have to remember this okay shunt shunt feedback amplifier is also called as trans resistance amplifier Next, we are going to analyze the gain of the amplifier with feedback. For that, we can consider the gain of the trans resistance amplifier without feedback. That is A is equal to RM is equual to VO by II. We can get VO is equal to what? RM into II. Okay. This is the simplified diagram here. IS is source signal. Here IF is the feedback signal from this feedback network. Here VI and II both are the voltage and current for this amplifier. Okay. And then the output voltage VO. The feedback factor is beta that is equal to IF by VO. We can get IF that is feedback current signal is equal to beta into VO. Gain of the amplifier with feedback. So here with feedback is represented as AF is equal to output voltage by the source input current. Okay. So next we are going to find out the value of this IS. Here the input current to the amplifier. We can see here the input current I to this amplifier is equal to IS minus IF. We are using negative feedback. So we can simply subtract this feedback from the source to get this I. Correct. So we can write I is equal to what? IS minus IF. Then we can move this minus IF to this side as a plus 1 to get the value of IS. So that is source current is equal to II plus IF. This feedback current can be replaced with the value beta VO. Okay. Here this VO can be replaced with the value RM into II. Next we can take this II as a common one. 
Finally, IS is equal to IA into 1 plus RM beta. Okay, next we are going to substitute this value in this gain with feedback formula. That is equal to VO by IS is equal to VO is nothing but RM into II divided by II into 1 plus RM beta. II can be divided each other. Then we can get the value as RM by 1 plus RM beta. So as I told you earlier, this RM that is transfer resistance is nothing but the gain of that amplifier without feedback. So we can write like this. Okay. Do you all understand this concept? From this we can get AF that is gain with feedback is equal to A by 1 plus A beta. The gain of the amplifier is decreased by the factor 1 plus A beta. Thereby increasing the stability of the feedback amplifier. Okay. Next we are going to analyze input impedance and output impedance of this shunshan feedback amplifier so in this method the input signal is a current signal feedback signal is also a current signal so here the feedback signal is connected in parallel with the source input signal here the source input is the current signal is in parallel with the feedback signal here the direction of this feedback signal is opposite to this source signal because of the negative feedback. Okay, here IF is equal to beta into BO. IA value is equal to the source current minus the feedback current. Okay, so next, this is the equivalent circuit of this amplifier. It consists of the input resistance RI, RM into IA. Here, the gain is multiplied with that current to produce that output voltage. Okay. Since the output is a voltage signal, we can use Thevenin circuit that is voltage source in series with the resistance. Okay, finally the load resistance across that we can get output voltage. Okay, so the next one is input impedance. For that we can consider the input equivalent circuit alone. The input impedance without feedback. Without feedback means we can get the value of this Ri at this point that is equal to Vi by Ii, correct? So next we have to consider the input impedance with feedback. So with feedback means we can include this feedback signal also. Here the input impedance with feedback is represented as Rif that is equal to Vi by the source current Is. Rif is equal to Vi divided by we have already derived this IS value in the gain analysis. We can directly use that here. I into 1 plus RM beta. As we know that V i by I i is nothing but R i. Correct? So here we can mention this value as R i f is equal to R i by 1 plus RM beta. The input impedance is decreased by the factor 1 plus RM beta. Next one is output impedance. For finding the output impedance, we have to make two assumptions. First one is to disconnect the load resistance. The next one is to assume the source current is equal to zero. Okay. So this is the output equivalent circuit. First we have to disconnect this load resistance. And we are going to find out the output impedance with feedback ROF at this point. Okay, after that we can find out the output impedance with feedback with this RL at this point that is represented as ROF dash. Okay, so here the output impedance with feedback is equal to output voltage by output current. Okay, so here we have to get this ratio by taking Kirchhoff's voltage law to this output circuit. So now we are going to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this output circuit. Here the output voltage is equal to the sum of voltage drops at these two points. Okay. Here the output voltage VO is equal to RM II plus IO into RO. Okay. So here we can move this RM II to this side as minus 1. 
So, I O R O is equal to V O minus R M into I I. As we know the relation between that input current to the source current as I I is equal to I S minus I F. So, here I S is equal to what? 0. 0 minus I F means minus I F. So, here this I I can be replaced with the value minus I F then we can get VO plus RM into IF. As we know that IF is equal to what? Beta into VO. So substitute that value here. VO plus RM, IF as beta into VO. Then we can take this VO as a common term. So IO RO is equal to VO into 1 plus RM beta. Next we are going to move this IO to this side as a denominator value and move this 1 plus Rm beta to this side as a denominator value. Then we can get Vo by Io is equal to Ro by 1 plus Rm beta. Do you all understand this? So here the ratio Vo by Io is also known as the output impedance with feedback. Rof is equal to Ro by 1 plus Rm beta. Thus the output impedance is decreased by the factor 1 plus A beta. So here A is nothing but the gain of that amplifier which is equal to Rm. Okay. So next we are going to obtain the output impedance with low resistance Rl. For that we can consider Rof does is equal to Rof parallel with Rl. Here we can use parallel formula Rof into Rl by Rof plus Rl. Then we have to substitute this Rof value in this formula. What is ROF? RO by 1 plus Rm beta. After substituting ROF value, we can get ROF does is equal to RO RL by 1 plus Rm beta divided by RO plus RL multiplied with this 1 plus Rm beta to make this denominator as a common one. Okay, then we can divide this value. We can get the value as RO RL divided by RO. This RL is multiplied inside this. Then we can get RO plus RL plus RL RM beta. For further simplification, we have to divide the numerator and denominator by the value RO plus RL. So RO RL divided by RO plus RL, the whole divided by. So RO plus RL is divided by RO plus RL means that value becomes 1 plus this value as RL RM divided by RO plus RL into beta. Okay. So this term can be written as RO RL by RO plus RL as RO dash divided by 1 plus RL RM by RO plus RL as R capital M. Okay. So here RO dash represents that RO and RL both are in parallel combination and here R capital M represents the gain of trans resistance amplifier with low resistance. Okay, so here capital M represents the gain of that amplifier with low resistance. Here this R small m represents the gain of the amplifier without RL. Okay.